Hello, I'm Stephanie Quine with the Weekly Law Report. Here are our top stories for this week. The Queensland Law Society says proposed changes to the state's Surrogacy Act would infringe on human rights. The Conservative LNP government's plan would stop people in a de facto relationship of less than two years, single people and same-sex couples, from having children through altruistic surrogacy. Law Society President John de Groot said the changes would put doctors in a catch-22 situation and breach sex discrimination laws. In the wake of a damning report into abuse in the Australian Defence Forces, a military lawyer has claimed there were many other cases of abuse relayed to him by victims which were not included in the report. Brian Briggs said some of the untested allegations were made against senior members of the ADF who are still in the military. Volume 1 of the DLA Piper report was released last week. It included 775 allegations of abuse, the overwhelming majority of which were deemed plausible. There has been a significant shift in university curriculums since the arrival of global law firms in Australia, according to the outgoing Dean of Sydney University's Law School. Professor Gillian Triggs, who is about to take up the presidency of the Human Rights Commission, said there is now a much stronger focus on preparing Australian lawyers for international service. We are too few as a, as a country. Uh, we must survive globally by being able to offer legal services at the global level. And globally, I think it's fair to say nobody's particularly interested in Australian law. So you have to be familiar with, an Australian lawyer has to be familiar with the legal systems of other parts of the world, Indonesia and Sharia law, um, with China and the civil Roman law background. Um, so we are educating our lawyers so that they can operate in much wider transnational legal environments. And we Pretty much, I'm pretty much expecting our graduates from this generation will be getting practicing certificates not only in Australia, but they'll be doing it in Singapore, um, uh, Beijing through the law firms, able to practice international law at a, at a global level. Otherwise, Australian lawyers will become increasingly parochial and sidelined. The murder trial of Western Australian barrister Lloyd Rainey began on Monday in Perth. The trial has attracted fierce media attention and for that reason there will be no jury. Law professor and advocacy specialist Hugh Selby says the idea that a jury would necessarily be so biased that it could not reach a fair decision is insulting. Rainey was charged in 2010 with murdering his wife around three years after her body was found. Both the Rainies were well-known members of the Perth legal community and for that reason, the judge and prosecution were flown from interstate to ensure a fair trial. The arrangement is expected to cost the state government around $3 million. I'm Stephanie Quine, thanks for joining me. I'll be back next Friday with more top stories in Australian law and business.